Summer is upon us. We've had a good first few months of the year. We've accomplished much and look forward to the halfway point of the year. We are never perfect. There is more work to be done. It's progress, not perfection. Our goal is to improve and enjoy our time. Our willingness to do what is necessary, even when uncomfortable, helps speed up the process. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share. Then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, how big is our God today? Where do we think we still have power? June 9th, thought for the day. We finally came to the bottom. We did not have to be financially broke, although many of us were. But we were spiritually bankrupt. We had a soul sickness, a revulsion against ourselves and against our way of living. Life had become impossible for us. We had to end it all or do something about it. Am I glad I did something about it? Meditation for the day. Faith is not seeing, but believing. I am in a box of space and time and cannot see spacelessness or eternity. But God is not within the shell of time and space. He is timeless and spaceless. He cannot be fully comprehended by our finite minds. But we must try to make a union between our purposes and the purposes of God. By trying to merge our minds with the mind of God, a oneness of purpose results. This oneness of purpose puts us in harmony with God and others. Evil comes from being in disharmony with God, and good comes from being in harmony with Him. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may be in harmony with God. I pray that I may get into the stream of goodness in the universe. We never knew we could do something about it. We did not know there was a solution that would remove our drink obsession. We didn't know we had a drink obsession. Alcoholism is a disease of the mind that tells us we don't have a problem. Deep down, we know we have a problem, and yet we are convinced we don't. We have problems in all areas of our lives. We get arrested for DUI. Our spouses are mad at us. Our kids won't talk to us. We have employment problems, and yet we honestly think we can turn it all around on our own, that we are due to get off this losing streak. Some of us didn't have financial or other issues, but we were sick inside. We were negative in our outlook. Nothing was good enough. We were restless, irritable, and discontented. We were exhausted, but put up appearances until we thought about the ultimate sacrifice to feel okay. Others had jumped from the towers of high finance, but not us. We went back to the bar. Alcoholics Anonymous members did something about it. We surrendered. We admitted that we were powerless, and we began the journey in recovery. Giving up our insanity that we were in control was difficult at first, and as we worked the steps, it became our norm. It is the easier, softer way. We let go and let God. He handles the tough stuff. We let him. We do the footwork and get out of our own way. We know our place in our relationship. He is the teacher and we are the student. He is wise and we are the sponge trying to understand. We align our will with our higher power by prayer and meditation. The drink obsession leaves us and we direct our priorities to helping others. Our connection gets clearer. We lose our self-centeredness and become, slowly, others-centered. We know that it is the proper use of our will today. When we were drinking, we didn't care about laws or social norms. Those were for suckers to obey. Now, we enjoy the structure our society has made for us. We are all equal in God's view. Again, it is the easier, softer way. We ceased fighting anything or anyone, even alcohol. We were conflicted when drinking. We felt we were exempted from the rules. We were better than the rest. 
And at the same time, we are insecure and feared everything, including being found out as imposters. Our resentments were running the show. The difference between us and God is that God doesn't think he is us. Funny saying in AA, and while we didn't call ourselves God, we behaved as if he didn't exist and that we were in charge. Today, we happily pray for his guidance and protection. Our faith is strong, and we know he has us. Consider, how big is our God today? Where do we think we still have power? June 9th, thought for the day. We finally came to the bottom. We did not have to be financially broke, although many of us were. But we were spiritually bankrupt. We had a soul sickness, a revulsion against ourselves and against our way of living. Life had become impossible for us. We had to end it all or do something about it. Am I glad I did something about it? Meditation for the day. Faith is not seeing, but believing. I am in a box of space and time and cannot see spacelessness or eternity. But God is not within the shell of time and space. He is timeless and spaceless. He cannot be fully comprehended by our finite minds. But we must try to make a union between our purposes and the purposes of God. By trying to merge our minds with the mind of God, a oneness of purpose results. This oneness of purpose puts us in harmony with God and others. Evil comes from being in disharmony with God, and good comes from being in harmony with Him. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may be in harmony with God. I pray that I may get into the stream of goodness in the universe. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.